is Smitty, Auntie Beauty Queen, and today is the Fat Girl's Diary April update. And I am so excited that I'm getting to do this series with you guys. I'm so, so happy with myself for starting right from the get-go in January to do this series with you because I know there are so many of you guys out there that are also doing this with me and I just, it makes me feel like I'm not alone and I'm really, really hoping that if this video just helps at least one of you guys with your journey, that's all that matters to me. And I know that I like to be goofy and funny in my other videos, but with the Fat Girl's Diary, I just really want to be a straight shooter with you because I don't want jokes. I don't want to, you know, come off looking silly because this is something that's a very serious topic for me and I know this is a really serious topic for a lot of you guys. That being said, I don't want to sit here and say that this whole video is going to be a straight sally kind of conversation. I just wanted to let you guys know that when I do the Fat Girl's Diary, if I look a little bit more reserved, a little bit more serious, that is why. So without further ado guys, this is the Fat Girl's Diary update part four. All right, so first things first, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. This month sucked for me. I don't know why I found this month so friggin' hard. Well, I do know why, and I'll get to that in a second, but I don't think I've ever felt so down with my journey that I have with in the month of April. But that's not also saying that I was really proud of the things that I've accomplished this month, but like I do with every video, let's get all the negative stuff out first so we can end the video on a positive note. So the reason why I felt that this month was just god awful was because I did a lot of things in this month that I wouldn't typically or normally do in the past months when I started this journey. Um, I went away on vacation, so that was a really big struggle for me. I went to a friend's house that live over three hours away, and she's my best friend, and we had a girls weekend with another friend, and it was just such a great time, but it was a really scary time. And anybody who's going through a weight loss journey will know the second that you get out of your comfort zone, it's the hardest thing to accomplish. We went to restaurants that I wouldn't normally go to. We ate food that I wouldn't have normally eaten and my diet was just completely thrown off for three whole days and that doesn't seem like a lot but it is a lot when you're really trying to make sure that you put in the right stuff in your body every single day. We did things like have sangria that would have had ingredients in it that wasn't the greatest and I it was something that I mean I didn't want to not do because I'm there I'm having fun but it just made the experience a little daunting for me and I know that seems like such a weird thing because these are things that I would have done on a day-to-day -day basis way before but not now. Going out for a restaurant three times through the whole weekend was really, really hard too because you want to enjoy the food, but you're really, really scared of it because you know that this isn't the food that you should really be putting into your body. With that being said, when I came home, I kind of felt pretty down. I was like, oh, I could just feel myself heavier. I could feel myself not at the rate that I should be. I was tired, I was grumpy, and I know it's because I wasn't eating the proper food, and that was only for three days. So that scares me, because if I go away for a whole week, or two weeks, what am I gonna do? So I really have to learn how to educate myself into still eating properly, even if I'm not given the resources to. So going out and maybe getting stuff taken off a sandwich, or going out and getting a salad with the dressing on the side. So I got home and I had gained four pounds in three days. How unbelievably scary is that? Four pounds. And I just thought, oh my God, I've completely outdone everything that I had searched out for. And when I had left for that trip, I was my lightest I'd ever been. And when I came back, I was almost right where I started like a month ago. So I really had to work hard to get those pounds off. I did a lot of just eating right for the next couple days. I didn't limit myself, obviously, but I just really, really, really made sure of what I was putting into my body. The next thing that was really hard for me this month was obviously Easter. I know that's going to sound really bizarre, but I had told myself from the get-go I would never restrict myself when it came to holidays or special occasions, and I, that doesn't mean that I'm allowing myself to just go hog wild and eat every single thing and every single bad thing, because there are still ways around eating the food you love, but in a healthy way. And the first thing that I'm going to say to you guys is when you eat things that you love, eat it in moderation. 
if you really, 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 really love chocolate, eat a piece maybe once, twice a week, and then that's it. Because you're still giving yourself what you love to eat, but you're not going overboard. And I think that's a lot to do with food addiction. And if you have food addiction, you're going to know. When you love something, you just crave it all the time. For Easter, my family had a giant brunch. We had pancakes, we had turkey bacon, we had sausage, we had crepes, we had everything that you could imagine. And last year, we would have fried it, we would have coated it in just grease and oil, we would have had, you know, pork bacon. But this year, because we've educated ourselves, we were able to make it in a healthier way. Instead of having like sunny side up with everything in it, we had scrambled egg whites, we had turkey bacon, we just did things so differently. And that is what you really just need to learn is that you can still eat great food if you do it the right way. Now, with that being said, the struggles that I kind of had through Easter was that family would bring all this chocolate over, obviously. The Easter Bunny left me a bunch of chocolate, and that is one thing that you really need to just let people know. When you're on this journey, when you're trying to change your entire life, you almost have to be harsh with the people that don't mean to undo things, but undo things. My mom is the worst for bringing stuff home that she shouldn't. She comes over and she'll bring donuts and chocolate and just every bad thing that you can. She doesn't mean to, but she does it because that's exactly what she would have done just even like six months ago. She's really had to not do that. But this Easter, old habits kicked in and she brought over all these amazing chocolate, like Cadbury cream eggs, Reese's Pieces, these scoop things, these Cadbury scoop things that you crack off the top and you literally eat like chocolate mousse out of a chocolate egg. And I had to look at her and be like, you can't do that. I had some Cadbury chocolate eggs because I'm human. Did I only have one teeny tiny pack and that was it? Yes. But I, again, I didn't restrict myself and that's the biggest thing I had to learn this month. There's going to be times where you're just going to be given things that you might or shouldn't eat. There's going to be times where you're going to be taken out to restaurants where you shouldn't really be eating at and you just have to learn that it is okay to eat there but if you do it in the healthiest way possible and that might be changing the order or getting things specifically made and tailored for your diet and it's okay to ask it's okay to have things completely altered at a restaurant that's what they're there for that's what their job is now moving on to some positives I have really really found that this month has been so hard to lose weight and I've kind of plateaued. I mean, I've gone down again in dress size, but the scale has stayed the exact same all month. Now I did gain those four pounds. I got those four pounds off, but I have not been able to go any further down. And I think that has been pretty daunting. And I love the fact that when I posted the weekly kind of food journal a lot of you guys had such amazing feedback some of you guys gave me excellent tips some of you guys pointed out things that really need to change and I do not get offended by that at all some girls might some girls might say this is how I live I know tell me if you have suggestions I am an open book I will absorb everything that you tell me and I will use it to my advantage a lot of you guys said you do not eat hardly any vegetables throughout your dinner and it's true I thought I was doing so good with eating so many vegetables throughout the day but really when it came to dinner it was all carbs it was all carbs and all protein and that is one thing that I really 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 need to stop doing I was able to finally fit into a pair of jeans that I hadn't been able to fit into in years I think I wore them in college like seven years ago how crazy is that? My first bout of college. And I think that is a really huge accomplishment. And I think too, just having a really bad month has made me kind of realize that you can't, can't screw off. You have to do this and you have to be fully committed. And if you fall off track, just pick yourself up tell yourself that you're only human and just keep going. Don't give up. And that's the main thing. Do not give up. You might have to rethink some things, but the main thing is, is just, just doing it and telling yourself that yes, you make mistakes, but it's okay because you're not going to make them again 
and if you do make them again, it's okay because you're still not giving up and that's just the most important thing. I really hope this video helped you guys. I really hope that this video kind of sheds light that it's really hard to change every aspect of a lifestyle that you were once accustomed to. And I want you guys to know that it's okay that if you eat the wrong thing one day, it's it's not going to be the end of the world. I have to give myself the same advice. If you like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that these videos are helping you. If you're going through the same thing, comment down below. And you can follow me on my vlog channel. I just posted a grocery mini haul. It's at Anti Beauty Queen Vlogs. And you can follow me all over the interweb, Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter with Anti Beauty Queen. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the flippy flop. Bye. <laughs> something that I've been eating non-stop and it's becoming a problem. <coughs> so delicious <coughs> ice cream chocolate <coughs> made with coconut milk. It's really good.